hello i said welcome back to the chat with the dolphin please do subscribe if you haven't but if you did of course thank you so much for subscribing so today we are going to talk about this video that i came across on a facebook while i was busy scrolling and it got me intrigued maybe the comments are the ones that you know spotted my eyes but i had to make a commentary video about it especially because i wanted to make a video yesterday but i couldn't make any videos because i was so caught up so anyways guys i don't know if this is called a homecoming celebration but i think yeah it's one of uh gogos cotton's initiates home uh coming celebration so we're going to talk about this because uh, people had a lot to say about this video people are wicked but the one thing about the commentary people people are so wicked guys <laughs> So, anyways, yeah, but as you can see, Ugogo's curtain was called to come to the stage so that he she can come and you know sing those beautiful songs that he she used to sing even before um she became famous. Um, it's no longer a secret that I used to follow Ugogo's curtain ever since um she started this thing Yabongaka and all that. And honestly speaking, I used to uh, respect this woman because of her aura you know and what she stood for at that time until she became famous until i got to see her true colors that pushed me right back you understand so hence i'm saying i used to follow gogos i used to love gogos because of her aura and because of what she represents as a woman and also as a traditional healer you understand so only to find out so anyways um let's talk about the she she was called to come to the stage to come and sing for people and dance for people and that's when we realized that there's a difference actually from Ukogos Koteni Lo and Ukogos Koteni Wakdala, you understand? And which made me go through her old videos um, where she was dancing ama, uh, to these uh, traditional songs, you know, that they sing, you know. So I, I was so shocked to what I came across. I was so shocked to the old Ukogos uh, Koteni and and uh, the the new one uh, they say there's so much difference in between these two gogos you understand so it shows that um indeed our favorite gogo has lost the plot indeed our favorite gogo has lost the plot but that's not what i'm trying to say guys i want you to check this out with me because people under the comment section were so brutal uh, towards how she was moving, how she was dancing. You know, others went as far as saying uh, that's the reason why we see that she's fake. Others went as far as saying she is twerking, she's not dancing, and she's not respectfully dancing for Amato Zuwake. So this is the dance that everyone is talking about. Uh, the dancer that made people realize that Okokos Katene is no longer the traditional healer that we knew, you understand. And honestly speaking, guys, as much as um, I see a lot of change in Okokos Katene, I want to point out some few things. You know, a problem with us black people is that we are chasing money, we are chasing wealth, you know, and we 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 will go through extra length to get that wealth do you understand and one thing that i love about ukokos koteni is that she didn't sell her soul to the devil and the reason why she did it is the reason why i'm saying that she didn't sell her soul to the devil is that everything that she does is evident you understand so um for instance how can you sell yourself uh, how can you sell your soul and still be broke how can you sell your soul and still owe people a lot of money how can you sell yourself and still rob people you understand so that's why i'm saying guys as much as i i don't trust ugogos katani i can tell that she didn't sell her soul to the devil yes there are certain things that she is doing that are not in the right space or are not good and yeah even lorena but to go for a posho we are human after all we make mistakes so that's why i'm saying that but the problem is that fame or pride 
within herself. Hence, I'm saying that how I wish you could go back to the old Gogos Kotane that we knew uh, than uh, this one. Because, ah, uh, no. Uh, this one is a big no. You can even see that she's not in, the, like, in her spiritual era. You can even see, man, that this is not the Gogos Kotane that we signed up for. And it's not too late for her to change because he used to have an aura. I will always respect Ogogos Kotene on another level because she used to be a gogo, -go, honestly. O like, honestly speaking, she used to be a gogo. -go. So, yeah, man, um, do you uh, guys think that um, it's not normal for a gogo -go to dance like this? Uh, do you think she's twerking? Or is this how the dance should be? Emma Sangoma, please comment down below and tell us because, yeah, we are curious a bit. Like the curiosity in us is just, you know, uh, too much. So, anyways, guys, yeah, man, tell me. <laughs> you, honestly, I don't know when she removed the, those earrings. I thought <clears throat> it was a little so vulgar. Like, Sarah, that's what I thought, but still, nothing came out of it. Anyways, guys, yeah, man, that's it from me. The chat with Dolphin. Have a lovely day. Bye.